So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you two proven products that have sold well in excess of $100,000. Both of these products are current and active today as well. So if you are looking for a product to get stuck in with today, right now, and build a business around, then both of these products in this video are definitely a great option. I'm also gonna be showing you the full setup behind these products. So we will be taking a look at the actual Facebook ad creative that's used to sell them. We'll be taking a look at the Shopify store selling them that we can use as inspiration. And of course, I'll be showing you these products on AliExpress too, so you know exactly what to buy them for and also what you can sell them for. Before we jump into product number one though, I want to show you how I'm working out how much these Facebook ads are making. So I've built out on Google Sheets a Facebook ad revenue calculator. It gives you a rough ballpark. I'm not saying exactly, so if we take a look at this example, I'm not saying this Facebook ad 100% has made 250,000 pounds. It's gonna be somewhere on this spectrum. And this is all based on my own personal results. So if we take a quick look at this particular Facebook ad here, I can refresh these results for you. This particular ad has had 1,200 reactions and 472 purchases. And if you take a look at the right-hand side where my cursor is, we can see it's had 10,500 link clicks. If we divide that against the amount of purchases, it gives a conversion rate, if I'm not mistaken, of somewhere in and around 4%. So if we go back to this revenue calculator, we know that we can look towards this top end. So that's the way in which I've built the calculator out. So when we put the amount of post reactions into this from the ads that we're gonna be taking a look at, then we have a rough idea of how much money these ads have generated. With that being said, let's jump into product number one, which is gonna be this solar watering can by a company, a drop shipping company called Twinkling Tree. I'm a really big fan of Twinkling Tree. Um, there's loads of products which they've sold over the past, which have been really successful. I've given my thoughts before in past videos on the LED niche, especially outdoor LED products and how they make such a great niche for drop shipping. So in this video, this is the products we're gonna be focusing on. Of course, we'll be taking a look at second products later on. Some background information then. It was first seen April 5th, last seen October 3rd, so it is still currently active and still working. We can see the amount of reactions there, which is just pretty incredible, to be honest. And um, we'll be putting those and plugging those into the revenue calculator in a second. But something else, just in full transparency, so if you do decide to give this product a go, then it's important that you know and understand where the majority of this traffic is coming from. And we can see that it's mainly coming from the US, but they also have all of these other countries listed. So if you you want to make this work then you need a super slick Shopify store which looks local to the country that's going to be visiting your store you need to get multi-currency checkout set up so people can shop and pay in their local currency if we take a look at the facebook ad themselves this is another reason why i really like this company and this niche as well it's because sometimes you don't even need a video and a picture and image ad is all you need very simple and very basic and as we can see really effective 136,000 reactions but most importantly let's take a look at the comments and see if people are actually buying this thing so we'll start off by most relevant which are going to give us some of the ones which have most reactions and engagements from other people on Facebook. Marjorie says she has two. Um, Angie says her daughters gave her one for Mother's Day. Debbie says her husband bought her one. Yvonne says she has two. Donna says Tina, whoever Tina is, um, bought her two of these for Mother's Day. Um, she said she made one. Uh, Mary did. Joanne says she absolutely loves it. Catherine says she has two of these. Maureen says she purchased one. Carol says she has one. And um, there's no doubt about it. People love this product and people are actually buying this product. Let's just confirm that it is still active though and go to newest. We can see one day ago, three days ago, two days ago. Let's open some more of these up. Um, just to double check, three days, three days, three days, six days, one week. So it is still active, people are still seeing this and still commenting and engaging with it. So with that being said then, let's take a look roughly at how much money this one product has made for this company. So we can see 136 post reactions. We can go into our revenue calculator, hit enter. We also, in fact, need to know what they are selling this product for. So they are indeed selling it for $39.99, which is quite expensive um, in my opinion. So we'll go back in, plug that in, which it already is. So this ad has made somewhere roughly between sort of 200,000 pounds and 2 million pounds. Now I understand that's quite a range, but I'm very confident that the true and the real number is somewhere between there. Given the actual price of the product, and the fact they're selling in multiple countries, 
then I would probably put it somewhere around one and a half, two percent. So even still quite a significant amount of money. And this is just one of the products in which they're advertising. As for the products on AliExpress then, so we can see what we buy it from. As you can see, the prices range quite a lot so what I've done is I've found a couple of different suppliers one on the cheaper end at around 10 pounds and then I've found one that seems pretty established and kind of like the biggest seller of this product which is selling it for 15 pounds and reduced down from 22 um, let's just take a quick look at the video just in case you've never seen this product before so you can see exactly what it does and the nice effects that it gives off if it was me I'd definitely try this product on Facebook with a video ad like this or similar to this just so people can actually see the full effect of the product even though this image has been super effective I definitely think when it comes to testing on Facebook then having more than one creative to have a go with um, is definitely the way to go so given that we can buy this product for about 15 pounds or about 10 pounds it leaves a pretty healthy profit margin if you can sell it for 40 pounds of somewhere around 25 to 30 pounds profit per sale minus of course any advertising costs to go into that so with that being said that's product number one if you're enjoying the video so far please do make sure you hit that like button and of course if you enjoy my content i am planning on releasing a video every single day um, make sure you subscribe to keep up to date with those and let's jump into product number two so product number two is going to be this pet mat. I know there's dogs in this example, but it doesn't just have to be dogs. This company, I believe, is selling it for dogs and for cats. It's such a great product. It is still currently active, and we can see the first scene date was June 2021. So it's been selling consistently well for over a year now so if you have a passion for pets cats dogs whatever it may be then definitely consider going into some form of kind of like a print on demand store um, selling a product like this it has 46,000 reactions give or take a little bit more or a little bit less they're also selling in multiple countries so definitely something to consider my advice for all beginners in fact watching this video wouldn't be to complicate things in the beginning and try and make a super slick store so you can sell in US dollars in Great British pounds, in Australian dollars, in Canadian dollars. I would stick to one country, stick to either the US, stick to either Australia, stick to either the UK, establish some traction, get some money in the bank and a consistent flow of customers coming in. And then once you have that start to branch out, if you try and bite off more than you can chew in the beginning it's just going to complicate things and it's going to make it difficult to succeed so just focus on the basics one particular country one currency establish some form of traction and then start to expand and grow into other countries let's take a look at the facebook ad itself then again just another still image which is great because it makes it super quick and super cheap to get started with some products which require require really nice video ads take a bit more time and a bit more investment as well up front um, to get the right video ad creative together. Well, this coming into Q4 as well, I'm gonna try and only recommend products which are super quick to get started with because obviously every day that goes past is one less day that you can capitalize on this time of year. The other advantage to image ads as well is there's less thought and less strategy that goes into them. With a video ad, there is a certain formula which you need to follow in order to try and convert people in the best way possible. Um, I did a video on that a couple of days ago, so make sure you check that out. Whereas with image ads, they're a lot more simpler and a lot more less kind of goes into them. Before we take a look at the money generated though, it's always important to check the comments. We want to know if two things, number one, are people actually buying this? And number two, um, is it still relevant? Is it still being advertised today? Are people still buying it today? Because then we know if we're gonna invest ourselves into this product, then we have got a good product. So let's just scroll through. We can see a lot of comments from the actual page itself, which is a good strategy to use. I always advise everybody to do this so that you look current and active. Um, so let's just scroll down and get past some of these. They're talking about a door hanger. Love this, love it, I love this. So I ordered our mat and surprised it came in a few weeks. So Venus bought it. Um, Laurie said she purchased one and couldn't be happier. So there's somebody else that bought it. Michael said he bought one and it's a big hit. Jessica said she received ours. Alexandra says we received ours and we like it. Um, I love this, love this idea. So we can see people have actually bought this, which is really, really good. Um, mm -hmm. Let's also double check the latest, so if we go for newest. We see two hours ago, seven minutes ago. Let's just open this up some more. One hour, two hours, six hours, seven hours, 10 hours. So it's getting quite a few comments each day, which does in fact prove it is still active, which is a great sign. Before we put the numbers into our calculator, then we need to know what price these guys are selling it for. So let's just take a quick look at their website. 
we can see they're selling it. The price starts at $34.99. I'm assuming there's $39 and $29. So we'll work it off based on the best selling um, in the middle road, which is $34.99. I'm assuming that's probably, if we go for two pets, it looks like it's still $34.99. So we'll go based off of that. We can see 48,000 reactions and I've already forgotten it, $34.99. And 34.99. So we can see that this ad alone has generated this company somewhere between 67,000 pounds and 670,000 pounds. Given the cheap price of the product and given my experience in the pet niche, I know the pet niche converts pretty high. Um, when I say pretty high, like 3% plus, but because it is a customized product and a bit more work goes into it, I would again, similar to the last store, put it somewhere in the middle of the road between sort of 1.5 and 2%. So I'd be confident in saying this store has made over 200,000 pounds from this one Facebook ad. Just to kind of back this up as well from a study or some information from a company called Little Data, they say here that a good conversion rate for Shopify, or the average was 1.6%, but what we have to take into account is when you're running direct Facebook ads, you'd expect your conversion rate to be a lot more. So the conversion rate of Amazon, believe it or not, is something ridiculously low, but it's because they get, when I want to say ridiculously low, it's like under 1%, but that's because they get so much organic traffic and they get a lot of people browsing. Whereas if you're actually running an ad and people know what they're buying and know what they're looking at and they're going direct to your store, you should expect it to be a lot higher. So we can see a good conversion rate for Shopify is in and around sort of 3.6% and anything over 5% would put you in the top 10. So based on that, I would expect this store to be converting probably closer to two, maybe even 3%, which would put it in and around sort of quarter of a million pounds for that one Facebook ad, which is obviously pretty good. Just to finish this product off then, let's take a look at it on AliExpress so we can see what we can buy it for. We can see there's a few different options really and a few different designs. So there's plenty of choice if you wanted to go into this business. We can see we can get it as cheap as sort of six pounds. Let's open that up and have a little bit of a deeper look. This one's selling it for eight pounds. These guys down here for 10 pounds. So even if we worked on kind of worst case scenario and we were buying it for say 10 or 15 pounds, we know we can get away with selling it for about 35. So it still leaves a pretty decent profit margin in there of at least 20 pounds, which is what I always like to work on. And so with that being said, then guys, that is the video. There are two proven products and the whole systems and business behind them. I hope you enjoyed this video. More importantly, I hope you take what you've learned in this video and put it into action and make some money this Q4. Thanks for watching. And of course, if you want to see more of my content, please do hit that subscribe button. Make sure to drop a like if you enjoyed today's one and I'll see you in the next one.